I think I was telling the rap guy that I was like, man, I just keep recycling bellies all year. Like, I can't hurt a wing. I should have shut up. I didn't hit ground overly hard. Whoever hit me hit me way harder. Spin out. He just spun out. I, uh, I ordered a pack of 36 so we didn't have trouble anymore. A pack of 36 oh. black Sharpies. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. No oh, thank you. Yeah. Chalk line, Lance on the inside. 
Xander drives into the lead. Looking for third. Meanwhile, Darren Pittman with the final transfer spot. Carson Messino on the outside looking in, coming after Pittman as they race through turns three and four. Pittman really going after Pat Cannon in the battle for third place. Watch them into turn number three. Cannon up on the cushion. Pittman down low. Watch Pittman off the rail. Turn number four. Can't make the pass. Cannon holds on, at least for now. Two laps left on this one. Pat Cannon and Jared Pittman racing for what is essentially the ninth starting spot in tonight's feature behind the cars of the Division Fast Pass Dash. They'll stay side by side as they cross under the bridge. Cannon forges ahead into turn three. Pittman looks to the inside one more time. And this time, Darren Pittman slides up in front of Pat Cannon to take the third spot. Never miss. Fine. Never miss. I've never missed. I'm to debate whether we just change things for the sake of it or... Like, I'm thinking maybe we just got low enough that, like, you laid left and bounced. Bounced and enough out. Air bubbled it so for a second. I mean, four it, gallons it, seems like an awful lot for it to have any bubble, I've, but... I've had some of these tanks do it in, like, oh. three-ish before, so yeah. I don't, like... That other tank's the one we ran anytime we were talking all the black car stuff. Yeah. Oh, so we've only ever ran we've only ever ran this tank when it's white. Yeah. So four in here. Showed it to him. I'm like, oh crap, that was my chance. He's gonna move down, and he didn't. But that's what I was worried too. Was just to see you one time. Yeah, I, I mean, actually, for about two, three laps, I kind of purposely like tried to stay off of him on exit because I didn't think I could get there, and yeah. just tried not to show it to him. But it's still greasy down there, so it actually kind of helped me turn. It feels really good. Right rear stays stuck, so I can enter down there as long as I can open my entry and get down to it. But. I knew it was going to be like into the bottom. I'm surprised they all migrated to the top that way. Yeah, Lance ran around up there in the beginning. I think they all did the zoom. They just did what he did. Yeah. Then he moved down. He moved down, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, that bottom was like nice. Yeah. You had clean track, clean air where you could open your entry, you could get right to it. And... Thanks for the bailout. Yeah. <laughs> Halfway. Ninth is okay. All yeah, right. it's a lot better than where we were. Yeah. Well, when I was six, I was like, man, I've got to be ahead of Macedo or I'm in trouble. <laughs> yeah. It's cold. It could get cold. Just bang on the board. Yeah, they definitely need, like, low 17 qualifying track. Yeah. It'll be warmer tomorrow, so the air probably will be quite a bit. Well, one minute, didn't Uh-oh. That's what I was thinking. I, was, I don't think it is now time to pick Johnny. There's your one.
about half through the race. Like it ran fine. I actually just thought like a header broke. I mean, it didn't change the way it ran. It just totally changed noise and got louder. Huh. Uh, so I mean, made did nothing, but something was weird. Uh, and coming to the checker, yeah, it missed again. I bet you we got four gallons. I had to stick it. Yeah. Like literally, just like right at the line, just a cough, same as exact same as qualifying. Yeah, I just put a train going. So I bet it. Um, I'd be willing to bet it's in the same spot. The uh, but, so at Lincoln, it's got rear end grease everywhere. Yeah. At Lincoln, the whole side cover is coming loose. Really? We retorqued everything, but it's all a mess again. Really? So like, I don't know if it's managing to like. It's got a little fine vibration that's working them things loose, or? Nothing's vibrating. It's smooth as it can be. Yeah, I just wonder. And it ran fine, like it didn't change the way. It just all of a sudden changed noise. Yeah. That's why I just thought, oh, it's gotta be like a header or something dumb, a gasket or um, something oh. I was hearing that just made it louder. But, yeah, I hope it didn't break a brand new set of headers. <laughs> There's a lot of big stuff going around, but I mean, nothing's obvious. But, I mean, at no point did I feel like it changed the way it ran. Got really loud for some reason in my ear. Um, really car-wise. I still think we went far enough. Just too free. Yeah, like I actually feel like I could have been tighter. Uh, it's like the curve got so big that you couldn't really rely on playing on into it. So yeah. you almost needed to be stuck enough to just run, like, run it, but without being in it. Um, I just felt really free when I moved off of it. But I mean, like, not. I kind of think it was terrible. Like, really, just some of those restarts hurt me. Um, when the guys are just making the bottom and middle work for a lap or two, I think, yeah. until they, I mean, Lance passed like one car. I mean, but like Fred and Dietrich must have came from the back. Like, yeah, Freddie, I took think, a, Freddie took a provisional. I think Freddie did it all in like that first stint, and then when I would slide myself down here, like how how I, I mean, I probably did it four or five times. Like, do I get eaten up at the flag stand? I'm, I'm all the way down there, so it's hard for me to gauge it to here, but like, there was something like Dietrich would, could just run the curve hard. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it wasn't like, he didn't even really have that big of a run on him even when he, I guess he slid me down there or whatever, but he just, he just shipped in there. We honestly weren't, I want to say the ones where he more just flew all the way across and didn't even like go all the way to the curve. Yeah. Might have been even better than than trying to go out there and pick it up. Yeah, the one where I just stayed lower longer and yeah. just picked it up on the straightaway. I agree. I only probably did that twice. And I feel like they were actually pretty decent in the corner. I mean, honestly, for back where we were, I feel like that whole race was about restarts. So we were about being yeah. in front of clean air, all about getting... That's all it was. Nobody, like, every restart, like, shots would slide somebody or one, like, one of the top four would slide each other into one and then they'd cross and they'd get, like, they'd just run a line again. Honestly, that one that Gravel, actually that's what it was, Gravel snuck around the outside of Sisney, and as soon as he got in front of Sisney, Sisney's car went like this, and his right front came off the ground so bad he couldn't steer, yeah. and like I was sitting right behind him, like he was out of control, which just was kind of, he got put in a bad spot because Gravel snuck in front of him, and we all just went in turn one, balled up, running over each other. I feel like at least we have like a, Something that a general something you like now. I'm just gotta keep comfortable with something about tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, ninth to ninth, but it's been great, but like. Yeah. I was just happy to run all the laps and have something that, like, didn't get you wanted up to where we didn't learn kind of thing. 10 degrees hotter tomorrow, second day. Likely won't be that big of a curve. Yeah, I could like down there off it's big. I'll be honest with you, running it like the first ten laps, I didn't realize how big it was until the yellow came out and then like you you looking at it. Kind of looked at it like, oh yeah, that's big. Yeah. What happened to gravel? It just stopped and then it fired again and stopped again. Yeah. So I don't know, I never could really see exactly what they worked on. <laughs> Save the forty nine though. Hmm? Save the forty nine oh, yeah. points. Sure.
you get front, let's just change that left front real fast. I forgot my other one is that ugly one that he hit the inside wall with. Like the guys who keep turning left on the exit are the ones that are faster. Yeah. The guys that don't have to catch back up. Can't even move it after the fact. Like if you come in and leave it back for us to put it in the trailer, like we can't even you can't shove it forward. Like it's pressure like both ways is pretty tough. What did my exit before look like? Look alright, like you kinda almost look like you kinda skipped in the center a little bit, but like some other guys did that too, so it's hard to say. Plus it got so thick with people, I didn't like, It's I pick you up like way off, so I don't even get to see what it probably really is doing. I feel like you're on the tight side there though. Yeah, I mean, in three and four I was. Just center out.
honestly, you're going to call me crazy, but I actually think I'm like just rolled up. And I don't know why. I just don't feel good at all. Like, I don't know what's different or what, but like center out, I'm, I struggle off the two. I can see a little bit. Just enough. It's just a skate thing. I think I'm throwing it on entry for some reason. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm having to be really aggressive on entry and throwing it, and then I get to the center and I feel like I just get level and sheer. Like when I enter where I think I need to in one, I can't hit the exit. So I have to really open my entry and then throw it and kind of lift and then it kind of is decent center out. But if not, I sit on top of the track and it just drift forever. Honestly, I thought my best laps were like right before that yellow and I just slowed down a lot. Like really, maybe it's a new or something about the definitely need to do screens and consider like but car wise man I don't know I just don't feel like it I'm confused like I'm super loose but I feel like it's because I'm throwing it and then I just sit there you just stop this a lot. level center out oh. like last night we had great grip and rotated and stuck and now I don't feel like I have grip I don't and it just it's on top. Okay. Double check my blocks stuff to make sure it didn't get off somewhere, but and then you're back in the drop off and you drive away and it just can't get away. Why well, just leave this here? <laughs> Don't think we need the checker to probably figure out if it's bad. I realized it was like uh, lap one and a half, but actually felt okay. I was gonna say like it, could it, you it tell anything? Felt super rolled up, but it had grip. Yeah. Like I thought I think Even, up laps, I was kind of surprised like how quick I it jumped on the right rear, but yeah, my right rear had grit. So. Even like, like guys in the first five were like, oh, yeah. off, right. you know what I mean? And you figure you're going God knows how much slower back there, so yeah. there was no way around it. No. It wasn't an uncomfortable, it was like, a, oh, it's rolled up, but hey, I can, I can drive like that. Like, yeah. 
especially to get 10 gallons off of it. Yeah. You know, I, was, I, I think I was telling the rap guy that I was like, man, I just keep recycling bellies all year. Like, I can't hurt a wing. Mm. Mm. I should have shut up. <laughs> Fix that problem for you. Hey, that car was since uh, Knoxville 2018. That's what I was trying to tell him. I'm pretty sure we ran that car for I don't think you're going to fix that one. That's a tough fix. I'm not going to fish slap that one. The, the twin to it is old enough that it doesn't have barrier bars. That car had to just get them installed. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll stay in touch. Good luck, Charlotte. Yep.